He's had too much to drink, obviously. He's a little upset. He doesn't like me very much. Why? No, it's not you. He just doesn't think it'll work between us, that's all. Bobby, I love you. I wouldn't do anything to hurt you. I love you, too. We'll just have to get used to it. Man, can you get away? I mean, right now, I want to take you away somewhere. Now? Yeah, just for the weekend. Um, I guess I could. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, I'll call. They wanted to arrest you. They would have done it already. <laughs> Yeah, you were right about that, Bobby. Yes, I thought so. Hey, man, are we going to tell Andy about this, huh? No. Give her the tapes and let her find out accidentally. She'll come to us only if she's devastated. Come on, arms at the door. Hello. Hi. Hey, Anne, what are you doing here? I'm going away for the weekend. Going away? Mm -hmm. Hey, with whom? I'm taking a break. A break? <laughs> we get in sort of lax, aren't we? Huh? Taking breaks while we're still undercover? Come on, Rasta. I mean, it's only going to be two days. Besides, there's nothing happening here anyway. Yeah, not true, Mom. Some new development. Francis called, and he wants those transcripts on his desk by Monday. Well, can't you do it for me? <laughs> no way, Mom. That's your job. Besides, I have photos to shoot. Bye. Get in, I'll give you a ride. Hey, Lorenzo. What the fuck are you doing here, huh? Waiting for you, Chinaman. Sky wants to have dinner with you. Go. to know the name of the cop who set me up. Fuck you! I would like to know the name of the cop who set me up. Fuck you, lost.
courage has earned respect, so I won't repeat this again. Let me hear the name of the cop to set me up. Because you're Frank's nephew. I, I, mean, I know, I know. I let emotion cloud my thinking. It's my mistake, not yours. I apologize to you for it, okay? I love your Uncle Frank like a brother. It's okay. But tell him. But tell him you, you died beautifully. Fucking bus is Kalia. You say relax. How far away will it be from me? Huh? If they wanted to arrest you, they would have done it already. Sure? Yes. I want you to go home. I've taken care of everything. Hey, Bobby, trust you. If they wanted to arrest you, they would have done it already. Sure? Yes. I've taken care of everything. Hey, Bobby, trust you. care of everything. Taking care of everything. Bobby! Leo, how you doing? Nice to see you. Thank you, Bobby. How did you know I was here? I called Danny. Excuse me, madam. Mr. Charles is in the coffee shop. Oh, yeah. So far, that's on the house. Madam. If I could score just one big one, I'd be the top dog. How big are you talking? Two, three hundred keys. It's a lot, Leo. Yeah, but think of the money. We could split at least forty million dollars. It's tempting. <laughs> what are you, crazy? Look, we ship it in a leachy nuts like we've done it before. Only we up to quantity. I want it 300 keys, Leo. It's a bit risky, don't you think? We've done it before. Besides, neither one of us will be there, so we'll say. I'll arrange to have our shipment arrive on June the 10th, and we will use the old oil rig in Rotterdam. It will be $20 million each. You're determined to make this work? Yeah. I'm very determined. You got a deal? Hey, look, it's my only chance. 
What are you doing? I should ask you that. Why? Who was that man you were talking to in the restaurant? He's an old friend. He's here for a while. What's wrong with that? How can you lie to me? What? I was sitting right next to you. I heard the whole thing. And I want to, I want to explain this to you. Don't touch me. Don't you dare touch me. You're a drug dealer. You're a fucking drug dealer. And... Anne! Anne! All you care about is money. You don't care who you hurt. That's not true. I love you. Anne! Yeah, hello. Bobby, you gotta come home quick. What? Why? One hand's dead. This fucking sky. Pick me up at the airport in two hours. Hey, Johnny. Hello. Come on, Tennessee. I'm all, all right. right. Hey, hey Leo. Leo, over here. Frank! Hello, Frank. How are you? All right. Sit down. Thank you. You want some wine? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Good. Leo. Yeah? I called you because I got this friend who needs a favor. Sure, Frank. Anything. It's not so simple. So he took your wife. Frank. Please. Uh, please, come on, Frank. It's okay. It's okay, as long as you do what you're told. Nothing will happen to her. Jesus Christ. Please, Frank, give me a break. It's okay. Hey, Frank, it's okay. Please. Leo, it's just business. Hey, Scalia. Not the fuck with Bobby Chow. Your little friend, Bobby, he's starting to cause me a great deal of trouble. As a matter of fact, he's starting to piss me off. And we have a code that we operate under here. If that little fucker doesn't want to live by the goddamn code, then I'll tell you what, that son of a bitch is gonna die by the fucking code. Now, when is that shit coming in? I said, motherfucker, when is the shit coming in? The day after tomorrow. Well, if you ever want to see your goddamn wife again, Son of a bitch better be there. You understand me? Huh? I want him my life! Still 300 keys. It's all hot, Leo. <laughs> but think of the money. We could split at least 40 million dollars. That's nothing. What are you? They crazy. I came to resign. Sit down, Anne. Resign? Why? This undercover thing. It's taking its toll on me. 
It's getting harder for me to decide between right and wrong. Is it because of Bobby Chow? What? We've known about you and Bobby for a long time. We thought it would be best for the investigation. So you used me? You manipulated me? I can't believe that. Look, I know you've got something on Bobby. Because DEA spotted you, Bobby and Leo together in Paris. So you better tell me what the fuck's going on. What do you think you're doing getting mixed up with some shitty drug pusher? Don't you realize I could have you thrown in jail as an accomplice? You've got no choice, Anne. But think about it. Anne, you're still a cop. And you'll always be a cop. Now, don't get your personal life confused with your professional life. Now, when's it coming in? The day after tomorrow. When? Carrillo! Find out about an abandoned oil rig in Rotterdam. Rasta, in here. You. Stay back and let the bastards kill each other.
Goodbye, China man. Steyer! God damn it! Everybody move in now! Get what? down! Fuck Run! Fuck you pussy! Fuck you! Die! Bobby! Don't do it! Let him go. You're a cop? Yeah, I'm a cop. Jesus Christ. Don't move! Go on, Bobby! Run! Get out of here! Please! the unofficial crime boss of Amsterdam, for his role in the murders of Bobby and Danny Chow two weeks ago in Rotterdam. The jury stated insufficient evidence. Mr. Scalia did plead guilty to the misdemeanor charge of possession of firearms. However, he will not spend time in jail. Mr. Scalia! Mr. Scalia, now that the trial is over, would you care to tell us how you're feeling? I feel the same way I felt before the trial started. I feel great. See, I was innocent before it started and I'm innocent now. All the court did was uh, make it efficient. Get everybody out of here. Did you see anyone? No. 